Well, when we look at the topic of deconversion, why do people leave the Christian faith? Uh, there are often various stages or steps that people go through. And first, it's beginning with uh, doubt, and then uh, you know, have, raising questions in their minds about, can this really be right, or what about that? Or maybe they have a certain encounter with, uh, with deep problems, and they start to become critical of what they've grown up with to the point that they start to question everything, that they start to uh, begin to distance themselves from you know, almost treating as, as, outside, as an outsider what they are seeing, you know, uh, you know, that what they had grown up with, for example. And then eventually there is a, you know, a departure, uh, that it is a, you know, a, a deconversion, leaving behind, and often some, you know, it can be a very painful thing to leaving behind what has been so familiar, what has brought comfort and security and so forth, and also disappointing uh, families, disappointing those who have been committed to raising uh, someone up in, in, say, the Christian faith. And, and of course, you can understand that there is also pain when somebody uh, who becomes a Christian out of a Muslim or a Hindu setting, there's often, it's a much stronger reaction. It can be excommunication from the family. It can be a, uh, you know, even your life is under threat for example. Uh, so again, it can be a much more extreme situation coming the other way, so to speak. But, but those are some of the, the features of, of, uh, of, of you know, kind of the process of, of deconversion.